All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be comparing the Super Conqueror and the Chieftain side by side to find out which tank you should get next. So without a further ado, let's just start this video. Let's go! Firstly, we're going to be comparing the armor profile of both tanks, and the Chieftain goes first. As you can see here, the lower plate is huge, and it is a big weak point for the Chieftain. Some people will say the turret is strong, but in my opinion, it is very, very weak. As you can see here, I'm shooting standard AP shells, and two out of three shells literally went right through the turret, or the mask of the turret, and therefore, the turret is very, very weak, at least in my opinion. Furthermore, the cupola on top of the tank makes it very hard to go haul down, and overall, the Chieftain's turret armor, as well as hull armor, is very, very disappointing. The Chieftain's sides are even worse because even under a slight angle, they can get penned very, very easily. The cupola can also get HE'd, while the rear and the sides of the Chieftain can also get HE'd. And again, the Chieftain is one of the worst heavies in terms of armor, at least in my opinion, because the turret doesn't hold, the hull doesn't hold anything. In comparison, we have the Super Conqueror. Again, it is super red. And uh, the only available spot to penetrate with AP shells is definitely just the you know lower plate we have a cupola on the super conqueror as well but here it is very very hard to pen as you can see here even with gold shells from the chieftain with over 300 millimeters of penetration it is very very hard to pen the uh, the cupola on top of the tank as you can see here the sides have a bit a small weak point but again even with gold it is very hard to penetrate the front of the turret on the on the super conquer as you can see the chieftain is using full gold and still it is very very hard to pen so therefore i would definitely give this round to the super conqueror in terms of armor because oh boy the armor is a lot better compared to that of the chieftain other big weaknesses again are the uh, the thingies on the side Apart from that, the sides hold shots very, very well, and side, and side scraping in the Super Conqueror is very, very nice indeed, at least in my opinion. Again, look at how many shots it took to actually, you know, uh, pen the cupola. Obviously, the Chieftain didn't, which is very, very disappointing, but in randoms, you do get penned. I don't know what happened in this training room. Apart from that, the sides, if looking at them at 90 degrees, are very, very weak as well on the Super Conqueror, and they can get HE'd by a lot of TDs and tanks with high penetration in terms of HE shells. Again, I would definitely give this round to the Super Conqueror and it is 1-0 as of now. Let's go on to test the mobility on both tanks. In terms of mobility, I would definitely say the Chieftain is a lot better just because of the top speed and the traverse speed. Everything about the Chieftain is better than the Super Conqueror and therefore the Chieftain just flies ahead. As you can see here, the top speed is 42 versus 36. Therefore, the Chieftain is able to sprint ahead and the Super Conqueror is a lot more sluggish and it is very weak in terms of randoms random battles due to its mobility the mobility lets it down so much you know if you're a light or a medium circling the super conqueror is very very easy compared to that of the chieftain furthermore running around for damage or getting to that initial position in random battles is a lot harder in the super conqueror just because of how sluggish it is therefore i would definitely say this round goes to the chieftain and it is a 1-1 now in terms of gun handling, the Super Conqueror is so much worse. It is worse in everything. The DPM is worse by 300 on the Super Conqueror. The, uh, the aim time and dispersion is a lot worse on the Super Conqueror. And therefore the Chieftain wins by miles. By miles. Sure the Chieftain's armor is a lot worse than that of the Super Conqueror. However, again the Super Conqueror has a big fat lower plate just like the Chieftain and the turrets can also be penned if you're looking sideways or something like that. Therefore, armor doesn't play a big role in, in this game, at least when playing in randoms. 
Sure, you can have decent armor, it'll save you one or two times, but other than that, it's not like you're invulnerable. You know what I mean? And in a game, in a fast paced game like Blitz, you know, your gun and your mobility, in my opinion, play a bigger role than just having pure armor. For example, look at the mouse, look at the IS-4, and then compare that to something like the AMX 50B. Which one will be a lot more effective in randoms? I think the answer is very, very clear. So obviously this round goes to the Chieftain, and uh, it is a 2-1. The only thing the Super Conqueror is better at is the armor. The gun on this thing is absolutely horrible. It is abysmal. You can fully aim in, but you'll still miss. The accuracy on this thing is so goddamn bad. I got the Super Conqueror in crates, I was like wow I'm so lucky, I started playing this and oh boy, oh boy was the tank disappointing, I only managed to do something like 3500 damage for 100 games or something like that. And in my opinion that was really really weak and I expected a lot more from this tank just like a lot of people. The gun is horrible, the mobility is horrible and therefore the tank overall is very very bad because it doesn't really hold shots in random battles either. But obviously we're doing a 1 versus 1 right now and the first round was in my hands so it's a 1-0 in terms of the 1v1. Of course the Super Conqueror and Chieftain both have 10 degrees of gun depression and the turret allows you to, you know, go hull down and be very, very aggressive when going hull down. However, other than that, you won't really be doing anything in randoms. You'll be taking shots like a champ and therefore I don't understand people who say the Super Conqueror is better because of the armor. The armor doesn't play a big role and I think a lot of people will definitely, definitely agree with me because how many times will you be ab able to uh, go hull down for the whole game? Maybe for a couple of minutes, maybe one or two max, but after that you'll have to relocate, change position because of, uh, you know, all the changes that will happen during the battle. Obviously, it's a 2-0 right now. Of course, in a 1 versus 1 situation, the Super Conqueror will be a bit better than the Chieftain, but in terms of randoms, I think the Chieftain will be a lot better to play for win rate and for damage. But uh, again, this is just my opinion. I don't have the Chieftain yet, I only have the Super Conqueror, so I can't really talk too much. But the Chieftain's DPM is so insane, it is one of the best for heavy tanks, and I think overall it has a very good combo of everything. So, uh, yeah, in terms of playstyle, they are again quite quite similar. However, the Chieftain shouldn't really be played super aggressively on the front line compared to that of the Super Conqueror. The Super Conqueror isn't a long engagement tank because again, the accuracy is garbage. So therefore, you know, be careful and be mindful of your uh, trashy gun. So I, th I suggest playing close range with the Super Conqueror while being a bit on the second line with the Chieftain. So uh, don't use up all your HP. Again, the HP pool is similar. However, the Chieftain's pool will deplete a lot faster just because of the weaker armor it has. So again, the Chieftain is mostly a support tank while the Super Conqueror is a frontline tank. Both tanks are meant to go hull down because again, if you play peekaboo, uh, in a hull down, most tanks shouldn't be able to penetrate you into the turret, at least for the Chieftain, while the Super Conqueror's turret is very good, unless you start turning it, of course. So yeah, again, both playstyles are similar, but at the same time, they're very, very different. So coming back to the 1v1, as you can see here, the Chieftain does struggle to penetrate me most of the time. However, again, the Cupola can be penned, as you guys can see. The HE work is also very nice on both tanks, over 100 millimeters of penetration, allows you to do, you know, 500 plus damage very, very easily, and therefore racking up damage, but your aim has to be good, you know. If your aim is garbage, then don't really load HE. Other than that, both tanks are very, very nice. At least the Super Conqueror isn't a bad tank. It disappointed me a lot, and a lot of people I've talked to all were also very, very disappointed because they expected a lot from the tank. You look at it, you're like, wow, this is probably an insane tank. You start going into randoms and you're pretty much disappointed, and that's how a lot of people felt. Other than that, the Chieftain is a lot uglier than the Super Conqueror. Yes, I said that. The Super Conqueror looks very, very nice. And uh, you just want to keep playing playing it or uh, looking at it just because of how nice it looks. So in terms of uh, aesthetics, I think the Super Conqueror is a lot better. Uh, but um, 
I think we ran through all the advantages and disadvantages of both tanks and it's up to you to decide and again it depends on your playstyle but uh, with that this video should definitely come to an end. I'll see you guys soon in my next videos. Happy is out. Bye bye.